we can't and we won't let funding challenges risk workers' health and safety. That is not acceptable to me. It's not acceptable to what we were created to do. And I know all of you bring that same value and commitment as protecting the health and safety of workers and first responders. It's been proven that workers training workers is the most effective method for delivering training that sticks. We have succeeded as a result of this strong partnership. Hammer is a national asset, and we should be maximizing its use in the successful programs of both Hanford and across the complex. Uh, how much is it worth to send a person home the same way they came to work? Uh, the only training that really catches is worker training work. Someone that's been there, somebody that's done that. Uh, is it less expensive? you damn right it is in the long term. Let's, let's hang together. We can't afford to give up what we've gained. We've had 20 years of investment. Uh, we at HSS and our people feel that there's nothing more important than taking care of workers. And can't get the mission done if you don't take care of workers. Yeah, I was at the WTP this morning looking at the tank farm set to be able to talk with you about my favorite facility, which is, is Hammer. Um, you do amazing work here at Hammer. And I just want you to know I'm, I am one of your biggest fans. This is a great partnership between uh, labor, federal government, and the tribes. And I really appreciate everybody's commitment and dedication to this facility and project. As all of you know, this training facility and education is a facility is a first-rate facility. Uh, and it's so important because it keeps our Hanford workers safe. And it's really played an integral part uh, and making sure our workers and uh, emergency responders for some very high risk tasks have the training that they need. It is an extremely high priority for me. As I said, I've worked over many years now, as Gary said, to make sure we've got the funding and support from the federal government to keeping this going. And I was very proud after 9-11 to have this facility really take on a critical uh, new mission of making sure that our, all of our Homeland Security workers had the kind of training that they needed to. Your support, the community support, has made all the difference in our ability to make sure we can keep this facility going. And it's important that we remember all of that history that I just walked to because we have to make sure that this facility is there far into the future. Our workers are out there every single day. They're doing what we have asked them to do as a country. They are, it's a moral and legal obligation to clean this up. They're doing the job. We have to make sure we keep the commitment to keep them safe and trained in the very difficult tasks that they have. They're keeping their end of the bargain. I'm going to keep mine in Washington, D.C. and keep fighting. Now, as you all know, um, we are facing some very serious budget challenges back in Washington, D.C. And uh, Gary kind of skimmed over it, but I got the dubious task this year of becoming chair of the Budget Committee in the United States Senate. And anybody who follows this knows that the Senate had to come pass the budget literally in four years. Um, so they had to sign a woman to do it. And, uh, <laughs> and, and uh, so this year I wrote and passed a budget in the United States Senate and really focused on making sure that we didn't ch just talk about numbers and budget lines, but really talked about the priorities of this country and what our obligations are for the future and making sure that uh, we come up with a good budget deal. And certainly, they're your values that I work for, and, and that's what I thought about every single day. Part of what I um, did in passing that was making sure that we replaced sequestration. To me, that is absolutely terrible policy. Wrong cuts, wrong time should never have been enacted that way, and we're living with that right now, and it's uh, the impact to workers and workforce is incredible. It's going to have an impact here at Hanford. My budget replaces that beginning in 2014, which is October 1st of next year, and we are now halfway through the process. I passed that budget in the Senate. Um, I meet constantly with my counterpart in the House, Paul Ryan, you know who he is, uh, and uh, we are trying to see if there is a path forward to, to come to an agreement. Um, but I am working many different ways to try and get a path forward that puts in place a responsible budget for this country that does deal with the debt and deficit, as we must do, but doesn't short the other debts and deficits we have. Uh, making sure that we do clean up at Hanford, that we invest in education and workforce training and the issues that are so important to making this country strong in the future and, of course, again, replacing sequestration. So I'm working very hard on that and uh, want you to know that it is the absolute top priority, I believe, not only for me personally, this community, but for the entire country.